What is going on? It's been absolute ages since I've actually sat down to speak. Hope y'all good. Hope y'all doing well. Um, Post-COVID situation. Post-COVID kind of world. What do I mean by that? I've graduated. I've graduated like a couple of years ago already. I've been working. I've had my first job, had my second job. I'm currently working pretty much from home just as a result of COVID. A lot of companies have transitioned into this kind of remote working situation, hybrid. Um, I'm pretty much remote, although I am officially uh, under a contract of a hybrid working model, except that I don't necessarily go into the office any more often than like once a week, let's say. And I like that. I enjoy it. That's, um, I've, I've recently been thinking about it. Um, it's quite good to be able to be home in your own comfort, set your desk up the way you want it, set your own space. And that's quite comfortable. I feel like maybe I just don't know the office kind of culture and people that have been actually used to the office culture. Uh, I have talked to some people and they are diehard office users. And they say, I cannot imagine myself working from home. I really need the interaction, the banter, like all of those kind of things. They miss the office. So I've tried going in once a week, uh, maybe up to like two times a week, let's say. Um, problem is for me, the office is in a different city. I have to commute pretty much around an hour, maybe a bit more just to get to the actual office. But it, it, it's not bad. If the whole team comes, we can get together. We can chat about issues. The bandwidth of working is higher. Anyway, what I wanted to say is that the transition between being a full-time student and working full-time, I guess especially working from home full-time where um, I've always had these kind of expectations of what an office job would be, of what, let's say, a programming career uh, might entail. What does that mean to go to the office, to work on programming tasks, pair with your colleagues, have their input, work with senior developers, etc. all of that. I think I've just had these, um, I mean, not necessarily misconceptions, but at the time at which I was graduating, those became misconceptions because offices were pretty much closed. I've uh, onboarded into my first job completely online, completely remotely um, from my desk at home. And then I've not seen colleagues in months until I actually got the chance to go into the office. Still, it was masks, it was all sorts of it, pretty much uncomfortable things because in my opinion, the whole point of an office is a collaborative environment. You you meet up people, you go to them, you talk to them, but if you have to wear masks and you have to social distance, that pretty much defeats the purpose of you going in there and collaborating. So anyway, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say, if you feel the same, um, don't know how many people uh, have had the same. I'm sure a lot of people have graduated around uh, the COVID times. Not necessarily in tech industry, pretty much anywhere. The jobs are just so different from what it was. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think I quite enjoy being at home, uh, being able to uh, have a break, go get a glass of water, be in my own comfortable space, put on some music, program with a calm background, tune playing in the background. It's It's all good. But if you are feeling overwhelmed or um, the transition for me was difficult, I felt quite caged, I suppose, um, with the idea of transitioning into full-time work. And again, I, I'm mashing two ideas together. One idea being going to work after have studied uh, for a while. And the second idea of starting to work in such, such a climate. These probably go hand in hand. And that's why I've had the thing that I've had. Uh, which is that specific set of circumstances that made me kind of, I don't know, if you feel a bit caged or um, confined. Um, it's it's about back when in university you are given an assignment and you're given like a week to do it. Um, you can go do whatever, come back whenever, set your schedule. Maybe I work best in the evenings. Maybe that's how I, I operate. I go start my assignment at 6 p.m., finish it at 9 p.m., continue on, do the same next day. Maybe I do get in the mornings. But when it comes to a, a, a career, a job, it, which is a pretty much like a, a nine to five, even though the hours might be slightly flexible, um, you're still kind of confined to this mindset of a nine to five, of being at your desk in case you are needed or in case anything else happens. And um, you are supposed to be at your desk and working. Um, so 
the mindset there from being this like free kind of student and then being able to set your own hours uh, was a bit of like a, a drastic change. But I, I got over it eventually, I suppose. Um, it's just that it is it is quite a quite a different workflow um, as to what you have in uni. And if you feel the same, um, if you're in a similar situation as I am, recently graduated, got their first, second job, um, and are feeling a bit still not well adjusted. I've talked to my friends. They, One of my friends asked me, how did you deal with transitioning to a full-time job so well? And I said, I didn't. I just didn't. Like, I don't know where you have that kind of um, misconception, but I don't think I I've, I've have adjusted to it as well as you might think. Um, so you're not alone if that's who you are and uh, are watching this to find some comfort. Um, either way, let me know your thoughts if you have any kind of suggestions, stories, um, anything that could help an individual in such situation. Let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. And this is just me coming back, uh, hopefully, ideally, to YouTube. Having little uh, thoughts, maybe weekly little videos about uh, what's on my mind. Um, yeah, so see y'all later.